Okay, today I'm going to share two exciting information for all the Samsung Galaxy phone users out there. But before I do that, more than 70% of you guys who watch my contents have not subscribed to the channel yet. If you want to stay updated with everything that's happening with your devices, you need to be a part of this community. So go ahead, subscribe and do not forget to hit the like button for this video. Now let's go ahead. The first exciting news I would like to share is Samsung has integrated Perplexity AI into Bixby. Yes. Bixby is now quite powerful and more advanced than ever. It now asks perplexity for complex questions that you're going to ask. Let me show you this. One of the users on X has posted this particular screenshot here. You can see this is the latest version of Bixby. And there is also a screen recording shared by this user. As you can see, when he asks a question to Bixby, it answers it in detail, like how we get the answers on perplexity uh, on the web version. And at the bottom, it also shows the sources and you can see perplexity logo over there. So Bixby will be able to handle the basic tasks on the device. And if you ask for any question which is web-based, then it is going to ask perplexity and give you the results right here on this page. Now, this is similar to how Google's Gemini works or ChatGPT works. Similar thing is now integrated on Bixby, which is a welcome change. Just in case if you are a fan of perplexity AI, then you are going to love this. Now, all of you may be having a question, why perplexity now on Bixby? We already have Gemini on the Galaxy phones, which is working great. So why another AI? Now, I don't have an answer for this, but it's always good to have multiple options on the device. And Samsung is known for this. They offer multiple ways to execute those features. And now when it comes to AI, we are getting another assistant, which can be used on the device. Now on my Galaxy S25 Ultra, I'm currently running on One UI 8.5 Official Beta 2. And I still do not have this uh, perplexity integration on Bixby. Let me just open Bixby here. Now here, any question that I ask, it is going to show the results from Google. So this may not be available on all the devices. As soon as it officially arrives, I will keep you guys posted. Now, why do I have the S24 Ultra here on my left hand side? That brings us to the second exciting news. And that is Samsung has brought back the lapse option on Bixby. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's go to Bixby here. And let's go to Bixby settings. Now here, if I scroll down, you will see Labs option is now back on One UI 8.5. This disappeared on One UI 8.0 and now it is back. And let me tell you what is exciting about this Labs. Let me open this. Now here we have got a very interesting feature. We will be able to create a wake up phrase using this particular option. Let me enable this. Now, as you can see, I have set the wake up phrase as Hi Bixby and uh, we have got, okay, it just woke up and we have got the second option Bixby and we can also turn it off here and then comes this labs feature, create wake up freeze. Now let me keep this phone aside here. Let's focus on the S25 Ultra. Now here we have got wake up sensitivity, medium, low and high. And we have got wake up when media is playing option, improve voice recognition accuracy, delete all voice recordings. Now let me show you what we can do with this option. Let me tap on create wake up freeze. It says you will need to download a package to use this feature for improved performance. Additional updates may run in the background when connected to Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and download this. Here it is. We can now create a new wake up phrase. It is giving us some examples here like Galaxy, Sherlock, Yavis. You can use any word, any wake up phrase that you want to wake up Bixby on your device, which is just fantastic. Now, when it comes to Google, we can just say, hey, Google or Google to wake it up, but we don't have any other option. But when it comes to Bixby, we can customize it to any word or any name that we want. It says use a phrase between two and four syllables. There may be performance issues if earphones or Bluetooth devices are connected while recording. And that is why this is still under lab section. Let's go ahead and tap on start. Now, since I was talking, it just took this uh, phrase as wake up phrase, but I can uh, try again and I can create a new phrase here. So let's go ahead and try again. Let's say galaxy. Now this is going to be wake up phrase for Bixby on the device. Let's continue this galaxy, 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 galaxy. So I have to repeat it five times for uh, Bixby to learn this particular uh, word. It says great. You can wake me up by saying galaxy. I will tap on done. Now when I say galaxy, Bixby will wake up. Let's try this galaxy. There we go. 
Bixby just woke up when I said Galaxy. That is just fantastic. That's how we can customize the wake up phrase on Bixby. And now this particular feature is back and I'm really glad this is back. Now I'm not sure how many of you guys still use Bixby on your device, but it's good to see Samsung is still investing on the development of Bixby. It is improving it almost with every update. And this time perplexity within Bixby is going to enhance the responses from Bixby and we will have this alternate AI assistant to Google which is a welcome feature. Let me know what do you think about this, drop a comment and while you do that be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're interested in this beautiful wallpaper it's available on Volvo's application. We keep adding at least about 10 to 20 wallpapers almost every day and new categories also will be added every now and then so go ahead download the wallpaper application the link is in the description and yeah don't forget to hit that like button that motivates me to keep coming up with some new contents for you guys. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.